Hi everyone, this is Anthony and this is a demo of my uh, embedded systems project. The title of the project is Digital Signage. So the whole idea of the project is we want to be able to uh, display information to visitors, you know, in the building using uh, Raspberry Pi and, you know, a screen and everything is going to be controlled from an Android device. So, uh, so here I have, um, so right here, I have like a script that I wrote to ease the startup of the application so i'm just gonna run this run the script so we'll get right into it yeah it takes a couple of seconds to start up so yeah So yeah, it starts up and it's saying no images found. You can begin uploading images through the mobile app. So we're gonna go right to the mobile application. Let me stop this and run this. So yeah, uh, the Android the Android application is able to de detect the Raspberry uh, Pi, you know, because they are they both reside on the same network. So initially, when the whole system starts off, the Android device doesn't know what IP address the Raspberry Pi is on. So how does it find out? How does it get the the IP address and stuff like that? Uh, what the Raspberry, what the Android device does is it gets the broadcast address. You know, but the broadcast address is basically um, an address to which once the packet is written to it, every single device on the network is going to receive the packet. So the Android device sends out a packet, you know, containing useful information that the Raspberry Pi can read and decipher that okay this packet is coming from the Raspberry from an Android device. So in return the Raspberry Pi sends uh sends back it just is basically like a JSON object. So it sends back uh you know the device name that's that's what we have here Raspberry it sends back uh the time delay you know the time delay is basically like how much delay we want between each uh between each image. So right now, nothing has been set. So that's why it's, it's showing minus one. And then this is current, the, the current, uh, the currently set device name. So we can begin uploading images to the Raspberry Pi by hitting the plus sign. So we go right here. And then we can do this. So from here, we click send. So it begins writing to the Raspberry Pi. So once it's written, the Raspberry Pi uh, receives it and displays it. So we can, you know, we can upload like multiple images if we want. We can upload another image. Let's say we do this. Uh, we we'll want to upload the second image. So let's upload this one, and then we we'll hit send. So the same thing. It goes and then once this uh once this image is done like once the time lapse uh when, once the time delay elapses it switches to the next image and that's what you have here we can go on we can go on adding we can go on and add say this one the third image and do this good so it's gonna be the same thing at the end of the day, it's it's more like um the, so how it does this is um there's an array list which the UI thread like checks. So once uh once like a worker thread is done reading reading uh, the image from the socket, you know, because basically I'm using like socket communication. Once a worker thread is done is done reading the image, it writes to the database, you know, uh, specifying the file path, and then stores the image on the drive. But then writes the file path to the database and then includes that file path to the array list. So once uh, the UI thread is done with, say, the second one and then goes to the third one, it sees that, okay, a new image has been added and stuff like that. And uh, we can do interesting things like we can control, we can control the, uh, the Raspberry Pi from here. Oh, it's not working. Hmm. Sometimes it's buggy. So 
so yeah we should be able to control this yep so we can uh you know so right now that's what is showing and that's what we have here we can hit next button so this changes but then this is gonna change you know it's gonna take like a while for it to load because what it's trying to do is it's, it's trying to load the image from memory and all of that what i found out was it runs very very fast you know if, if i'm if i was running this from my system it runs like really really fast but on the raspberry pi you can notice like some kind of lag and then once this image changes it's also going to change here on the uh on the android device so there is there, there is like it's so as you can see it's already changed the image but then it's still trying to load it here it's told the android device that okay this is the next image i'm switching to but then okay finally it loads it here so we can you know see the delay in all of that so we can control like the slideshow from the android device and you know have like two-way communication and things like that